there, welcome to our Canadian Foursquare. As promised, let's go on a tour of the property. For our property, we've got two acres of hayfield. We've got about a quarter acre on the river across the road, and then the rest of our five acres are around the house. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna insert an old map right here. And what you can see is um, the property where we live, 1850s, it shows the different um, families that own the different plots of land. So that's kind of really neat. I really like this map. Um, but what's interesting about it is that it's about an 1850s map and it the house that's located on there, it's not our house. So that helps us to try and uh, figure out when exactly our house was built, which is something that we really want to do. Also, we know that the style of home that we have is an American Foursquare, which were built around 1900s, early 1900s. So we're going with the idea that our house is circa 1910, and we are gonna be doing some research in the next little bit to just try and figure out exactly when the house was built. So, stay so next, let me show you the actual Google map of our property. This map clearly outlines where our property line is, and it shows the acres of the hayfield uh, in comparison to where the river is and the rest of our house. Next, what I'm gonna do is put in a photo that we inherited when we took over this house. So we're not sure when this photograph was taken, but what's interesting about this is currently, which you'll see when we do some of the footage later, is that we have lots of pine trees on our property. And in the aerial photo, this old aerial photo, a lot of it is more um, deciduous trees. So it's kind of a, an interesting thing. What's also interesting is that there is no barn in this photo. And so what we're thinking is that the barn might have been brought on later than when that photo was taken. So like I said, we have some investigating to do and we look forward to doing that. But it's just kind of neat to see different pieces of history pulling them together and seeing if we can't figure out what's going on with our house and uh, the story behind it. Okay, enough maps and pictures. Let's have a look at the property. First, let's take you up the driveway and you can see the pines on the left-hand side. We love these pine trees, but honestly, two of them are um, at this point dead and we've got to take them down. And so what we're gonna do is line the other side of the driveway with some maples so that when the pines die or we have to take them down that the other side of our driveway will also be lined with trees. We're heading up to the barn. Now, like I'd said before, I'm not sure the barn is original to when this house was built. The barn from the inside um, almost looks like it was brought on site with old materials and rebuilt. So we're not sure the story of this barn. You'll notice that the barn needs a little bit of work on the outside and that's one of our big projects is to uh, get some gutters on there and redo the wood. We're just trying to figure out if we're going to do board and batten or keep it the way it is. But it will definitely be redone in wood almost as a restoration as opposed to um, putting any vinyl siding on it. Currently the barn is being used as a pool house. Holds our outdoor equipment and some tools. In the summer it's also our home gym. I'm not going to take you in there right now. We'll maybe do that in another episode because everything's stored away for the, the winter time. Uh, next, here's a little bit of footage of our pool area. You'll notice that the fence has gone down. We're going to be redoing the fence this summer as well. This is our two acres of hay. Basically what happens is a farmer somewhere around here comes on every year and takes the hay off, gets about 12 bales of hay. We don't know who the farmer is. We never asked him to, but he does it. But we're happy he does because it helps keep the, the grass down and then we don't have to mow it. So that's the joy, I guess, of living in the country is people look out for you. The last part of our property is our waterfront. So there's about a quarter acre on the Napanee River. We access the water by having to cross the road, which seems unfortunate, but honestly, when the kids were younger, it was nice to not to have the water right there for them to get into. Currently, there's no dock on the waterfront. That's something that we're hoping to do this summer. What we have been doing down there is just making sure that we keep it groomed because there's poison ivy, as well as lots of grape vines that we cut back. We try to leave it as natural as possible. We have fox living down there and we have beaver, which we discovered recently. 
Our plans down there are to add a dock and a bunky as well. Currently, we use the waterfront for canoeing, we go skating in the winter, sometimes we sled down the giant hill when we can slide off onto the ice. The kids have had a lot of fun out there. The best part about the river is that we get the most beautiful sunsets. And so we want to really maximize that by putting a really nice platform and dock and maybe a bunkie even there in order to be able to really enjoy our waterfront property. So the last thing I just want to share with you is some of our projects. So like most people, you have your wish list. So this is what that is. We would love to put in a dock and a bunkie by the river. We want to put a mud room on with a really nice patio out the back of our house. We want to redo the pool deck with a new fence. We need to redo the siding of the barn. We're going to be putting up a beach volleyball court this summer. We really want to redo our driveway and put up an actual garage for the cars and maybe a room up above for guests. And we're hoping this summer to put a lending library at the edge of our field for people in our rural community. So that's about it. This is our property. Those are our dreams and our ideas. Hopefully we're going to get some of them done this summer. Thank you so much for watching. And between this video of our property tour and the previous video of our house tour, I'm hoping that you are interested moving forward and will subscribe to our channel and see what fun we bring through these renovations. Oh, before you go, we're not just on Instagram anymore. We're on Facebook and on Pinterest. So be sure to check us out at our Canadian Foursquare. See you next week. Bye. Thank you.